Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, fitness management and consulting, and welcome back to our channel today. I appreciate you being here. And if you're finding us for the first time, if you're new here to the channel, uh, please subscribe. Uh, please hit that like button. Consider becoming a member. And to learn more about me and learn more about my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, please check out those links below. Now, with that said, let's get into our topic here today, and it's five real challenges faced by new gym owners five real challenges faced by new gym owners. And indeed, you know, these could be challenges, you know, faced by any gym owner. And so number one, it's the, the lack of benefits. Okay. You know, if you're new at this, you're just getting started in the gym industry as an owner, uh, the lack of benefits, you know, not having that health insurance, not having that paid vacation every year could be some significant, uh, significant adjustments for you. And so some things to think about here. I mean, if you have a spouse, uh, that maybe can get you on their insurance is a common solution. Uh, or, you know, sometimes you maintain your job and spouse runs the business, you know, while, um, while you're getting this thing started. So there can be some potential solutions in there, but one of those real challenges and uh, things that really is different for a lot of folks when they first get started is that. And I would even say that um, if you're a new gym owner and you're looking for financing and funding, Sometimes a good strategy is to keep that current job, which keeps those benefits, but it also could help you get those, uh, uh, get that funding and financing as well. Uh, number two, uh, time spent working. You know, certainly as a, as a new business, uh, the, this fitness uh, industry is a time intensive business. And certainly, you know, even for established gym owners, it's a time intensive business. And, you know, that time spent working, you know, in many cases is significantly more than what it's been in the past for you. And one of the things I would suggest here on this is always be mindful of our most valuable asset and our most valuable assets, you, that's your most valuable asset, you know, take good care of it. Okay. You know, make sure that, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're feeding it right and you're, you're giving it rest and you're doing all these things, but Hey, if it's important for you to get up and have that run every morning or every afternoon, or, you know, go meet friends for coffee or to pick up the kids after school, you know, continue doing those things. Okay. You're going to have to put in more time most likely, but if you can arrange it in such a way that it's a, you know, at a time and place of your choosing, uh, that can be a lot better. What you want to, I think want to stay away from is that marathon thing where you're just nonstop long hours. And, you know, that can lead to, uh, you know, less than um, the kind of performance that you're looking for. So time spent working is going to be another real challenge. Uh, number three, and this one always, uh, I think is interesting for a lot of folks, but you'll, you'll have more bosses than you thought. You'll have more bosses than you thought. And, you know, certainly what I mean by that is hey, if you get a loan at the bank, well, guess what? The, the bank is a boss. You know, if you owe the landlord rent and the rent, landlord has rules and regulations, well, you got the landlord's a boss. Okay. You know, your staff, you know, a little bit, they're the boss. I mean, if we're going to treat them the way we want to treat them, we're kind of working for them in a manner of speaking, right? Um, all your customers, all your members, uh, you know, for that matter, you know, technologies that you use. I mean, if you, you build your website on that Google platform, well, Google's going to have things you're going to have to do and how you're going to have to perform. So you're going to have bosses in a sense at, at many different levels. And what we want to make sure we do is, you know, write out a plan of action on how you work within this. How do you maximize those opportunities? But, you know, it's going to be rare that we're going to have 100% absolute. Although the big thing here and the reason you likely got into it is you will have the opportunity to guide and direct, you know, the, the direction of this company. Um, number four, I pose this question, you know, where's your support system? Okay. You know, in your previous occupation, you may have had a support system, you know, at, at many levels. And that has a tendency to go away sometimes if we're not careful uh, as an independent gym owner. And, you know, one of the things that I've found to be true for independent gym owners is very much this issue of becoming isolated. It's just us. And when we become isolated, you know, a lot of times we kind of contract, we go into retreat and really don't do anything. Okay. And now we're not getting the results we want. 
And one of the things you want to be able to do is surround yourself with, with people that can really provide that support. You want folks that have been there and done that. Okay, uh, you know, certainly myself as a consultant, and there's other consultants you know, in the industry that can help with this. Uh, could be attorneys, it could be accountants, uh, but you want to surround yourself with a support system uh, with people that have been there and done that. The other part of the support system that I would suggest on this, again, particularly if you're new, not always yes, but particularly if you're new, uh, that support system, you know, don't don't have naysayers hanging around. Oh, why are you still doing this? Why are you hanging in there? This is not going to work. You want to hang around high achievers and people that are, you know, looking to get things done. I, I would even suggest, you know, look at local networking groups and become part of things like that. Uh, folks that are entrepreneurs, you know, business owners, you know, people that are thinking big. This is what you want to be doing. And then number five, on uh, my real challenges faced by new gym owners is, you know, determination and dedication, you know, sticking with this, you know, determination and dedication, sticking with this, not giving up, you know, too many people give up right before they're ready to have success. Okay. And you want to hang in there with it. And, you know, here's the thing I would talk about here on, on this that I think is so important. And that is we need to understand our powerful why. Why are we doing this to begin with? Why is this important to us? Because that why needs to be so big that any obstacle is going to pale in comparison. And this, is, this will allow you to be more determined. This will allow you to be more dedicated. This will allow you to stick with it. And I would go back to a, a former client of ours. You know, I remember when he first called me up and he was working a regular job and and I'd ask him, you know, why he wanted to open a gym. And he said what he was looking for was he wanted the freedom, okay, of a business owner where he could spend more time with his family, more time with his kids. He didn't mind putting the time in. But again, he wanted to do it more at a time and place of his choosing, okay? Great, great, great reason to do it, okay? And so we went to work on it and everything went well, actually, with the exception of you know, trying to find that location. We had some real challenges with it. He was in a smaller area, it made it a little more difficult. Doesn't mean it couldn't be done, but it was a little more challenging and he was getting a little frustrated. And I remember one particular call, he said, Jim, I think I'm gonna just hang it up and, you know, kind of give this up. And I said, okay, you know, that's your call, certainly. I said, but let me ask you this, why did you originally want to do it? You know, what was the reason? And he goes, well, Jim, the, the big reason I wanted to do this, I wanted more freedom. I don't mind working, but I wanted to you know, be able to work at a time and place of my choosing. I wanted more time with my family, more time with my kids. Okay. And I said, well, has that changed? He says, no. I said, so that's still the case. You want that, right? He said, yes. He goes, he goes you know what? You're right. Let's hang in there with this. Let's keep working on it. And he did. And he found his location and he's done very well. Okay, so we want to stay mindful of that powerful why and why this is so important to us. And we want it so big and so important that anything that happens as far as obstacles and setbacks, you know, they pale in comparison. So five real challenges, you know, faced by new gym owners and indeed, you know, current gym owners, longstanding gym owners. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Appreciate you being here at the channel today. And if you've not yet done so, please subscribe. Uh, if you found the information beneficial, uh, please hit the like button. Uh, consider becoming a member. And to learn more about me, learn more about my company, you know, please check out those links below. And we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.